express your creativity to the glory of God. Enjoy watching. Hello everyone, Samantha here. So this is my Technique Tuesday video. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use some items that I just got from um ranger ink um i got these in the mail because i want a giveaway and i thought why not use them in my technique tuesday video so i actually watched the video yesterday with wendy i think i'm saying her name right vechi and she used these detail blending tools. And I'll post that video in the, the subscription. I pray to remember to post it in the description section of this video. Um, she used these. She used the archival inks, but the minis. She had some minis. And um, she used, I think, um, she had a stamp. She used a mini stamp, a stamp, and a mask. But I don't have all of what she has. But I do have some of the tools that Ranger Ink sent me. So I'm going to use the detail blending tools. And I'm going to use that. And I'm going to use these four archival ink pads. They're permanent waterproof. And I bought this a while ago from Michaels. It's a layering stencil and it does have a mask. So I am going to actually use it in what I want to do um the technique that i want to do today so i'm actually going to use the technique that wendy vecchi used but i don't have like her mask whatever like i said this is from michael's and it's from folk art this is from folk art so and she did it on a, like a piece of cardstock i'm not going to use cardstock i am going to use my journaling bible So, I already decided that I, I shared this interleaving um, Bible some time ago. And I mentioned how I did not want to use any wet mediums in here. I will use ink, but no paint and sprays. That's I do not want to use that in here because I really just don't want to. I have something for that anyway. So, anyway, I did eventually do a page in this bible it took some time for me to hold on let me put this up okay yeah i was saying it took some time for me to like break this break in this bible because i was feeling some kind of ways with writing in it i just had to just do it so actually on my vacation when i went away this is one of the one of the tools that i packed i couldn't pack a lot of things but i packed some and this was one of them that I packed and um I did a, a journaling page on Luke 5 4 through 7 and so um I did do something in this page hold on okay so I'm on a clean page here and I want to um you know what oh okay let me see something no more there you are. I may have to to um because love never ends, love never fails. Okay, well, since this is here, because I did want to do something on miracles. But I can do okay. I'm going to do um love. I'm gonna work, I'm gonna use the scripture on love. So um, <clears throat> just reflecting upon my day, I really was just seeing the love of God so much and, um, you know, just experiencing it and also being able to love and, you know, love is not a feeling. It's, um, that's affection. The love of God is more of a verb. Um, you know, it's not just saying we love somebody, but it's how we treat them, what the things that we do unto them. And, but I am grateful 
when feelings and emotions accompany it. Um, I don't take that for granted. Um, but, you know, I think it really shows our, how can I say, our growth in love when we don't feel it and we still love the person with our actions. We we may not feel those mushy feelings towards them, but still we choose to walk in love. Um, I believe that shows the maturity of the person, um, of an individual when that is happening. When they, without the feelings, but they still do, treat that person with love, with respect, um, uh, and be kind to them. Whatever God says to do unto them, we still do. So I just, I thank God um, you know, when we can do that, um, and again, like I said, I do, I am grateful when the feelings, when we have feelings of affection, when I have feelings of affection towards others, but going back to what I was saying originally, like I just was witnessing the love of God a lot today and experiencing receiving and also in giving. And so I said, well, um, for technique Tuesday, I'll do, um, a Bible page um, using a technique on 1 Corinthians 13, 8, 8a, 8, 1 Corinthians 13, 8a, but I'm going to read, um, starting from verse 1 to 8a. It says, if I speak in the tongues of men and of angels, but have not love, I am a noisy gong or a clanging cymbal. If I have prophetic powers and understand all mysteries and all knowledge, and if I have all faith so as to remove mountains, but have not love, I am nothing. If I give away all I have, I read that part. If I give away all I have, and if I deliver up my body to be burned, but have not love, I gain nothing. Love is patient and kind. Love does not envy or boast. It is not arrogant or rude. It does not insist on its own way. It is not irritable or resentful. It does not rejoice at wrongdoings, but rejoices with the truth. Love bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. Love never ends. And I'm going to... um journal on that verse the technique i'm going to use i mentioned it earlier so i have is with the stencil i'm going to use a mask and a stencil but i really want to use these new archival inks that i got in the mail from ranger because i want to give away so i got these for free and these blending um these detail blending tools so i'm going to try to mimic what i saw wendy vecchi do well some of it anyway because it is a totally different kind of um how can i say i wonder if i can use a stamp because she she used a stamp but i have a no but i want to see i want to use a heart so okay so um i don't have a heart stamp I will have to use this right here. So um, just bear with me because I am doing this. Um, this is not, I know I, I have an idea of what I want to use, but um, I didn't figure out the layout and all that stuff before I got on here. So, okay, so first thing first, I'm going to have to, since I don't have a heart stamp, I'm going to go ahead and just trace this out. So I know I could use a pen for this, but I'd rather use this first and then go over it. So that's what I'll do. So that way, okay. Oh, see, that's what I was talking about right there. Okay, is my hands oily? Okay, no. All right, so. All righty, so that up that there. So that's the heart. So that that this is more of a mask, but I just use it to trace. Yes, my hands are oily. Give me a second. Okay, I'm back. 
So, I'm going to be honest with you. I'm feeling a bit nervous about how I'm going to do this. But, anyway. So, um, what I did was, I guess I really didn't have to trace that. But I was thinking I wanted to do something else. But I realized that that wasn't going to work with this other thing. So, um, and why is this? Okay, so I got to figure out how to. Okay, here it goes. Okay, so that's right there, right? So I didn't go over it. So yeah, I'm going to put this down. I'm going to lay that down. Oops, that's a piece of hair on there. And then I'm going to lay this down here, right? So lay that down there, right? And so, and then I'm going to take this and lay this down here and then I'm gonna lay this down right okay I wonder if I should put a little piece underneath the stencil so it will you know like right here let me see how that will work I don't want to make it too thick this looks like it's hold on right so, yeah, I'm going to talk through this process because it is um, Technique Tuesday video. So, let me put that there. Okay, I'm going to have to move that little green because what I want to do, I don't want nothing to be to block. Okay. So, yeah. So, now that has it's laying down a, be a little better. And then right here. Yeah, I like that. And then I'm going to put some over here on both sides on this side and this side so this tape it comes up right away that's a good thing about this frog tape um you know it doesn't pull up the paper but i did i did realize you have to do you have to be careful if you're using it with paint because it will pull up the paint somewhat um i had experience where it pulled up something in my one of my journals that i was i was so heated i said well okay so anyway, so now that I got that there, I'm going to try this technique that I saw her similar technique where she was able to stamp a flower, which is like I said, I'm not using a stamp, but I do have an image, which is the space inside. Then she took a mask and she colored in certain parts of the flower by blocking off. Hold on. By blocking off space with the mask. But since I don't have a stamp like that, I'm I'm doing the best that I can with this. Where are the blending tools? I mean, I'm gonna have to free up some space over here. Right? And I, I don't want to, I think I just want to use three colors. I think I'm just gonna use three colors. So I have the blending tool. The blending tools right here. So how she did this, she used these blending tools. Right, I'm gonna only use two because I can put a different color on each side. And these are to get the details. So now say like if I just wanted to oh, this is too funny. So I have the ink pad, so I'm going to take some of the archival ink, right? And I'm going to just, if I try to do this whole thing, I'm going to be here all day. But you know what? It's okay. I'm going to try it anyway. So I'm just going to go inside of the stencil here. So she showed this mushing technique. Right. All right. All right. So I'm just going to go ahead and do, I have every so three colors, right? So... I'm going to do this right here. Ink it back up. You know what I should have did? Hold on one second. I wasn't thinking. I should have also laid down this stencil so I don't have to keep. Since I'm going to be. Uh-oh. 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 Uh -oh. Wait. 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 Hold on. Hold on. 
Okay. All right. Let me move this up a bit and move this. Okay. All right. I'm gonna lay the stencil down. Yeah. Good. Good to go. Good to go. I'll still use my fingers, but at least I don't have to. So now I have that. So let me just, I'm going to go ahead and use one color first, and then I'll switch off. So one, two, three, four. And it's called for detailed coloring. I like this. One, two. Okay, one, two. Three, one, two, three. Okay. Um, that's going to be too close. You know what? I'm just going to go around. I'm not going to try to be so perfect with it. I'm just going to go around randomly. And if something is by each other, then I'll just probably pull another color from something else. I just want to use the, 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 this yellow. Well, it's not yellow. It looks yellow, but I'm going to tell you the colors in a moment again. Um, oh, no. I never mentioned those colors here. I mentioned it in another video. This is... The one I'm using now is called Poppy. This color is called Poppy, just in case somebody want to get this color. Um... I like this. It's um it's sure making it easier to to um work inside this, these squares for detail because if I had um to do this with a a makeup sponge it would be a lot more difficult. So let's see where am I at over here. Okay. I can't where is it? Uh oh, I can't even see the inside of it. Yeah. Okay, I think I'm okay over there. I hope to God that I am. Yeah, because the stencil is. Yeah, it's alright. Okay, let me go down here. It's right here. So. I'm trying to pick up speed here. I hope I in that. I don't want to mess it up. But you see, it's like one of the things she said. She pushed down and she smushed. She didn't swipe. She did not swipe. And one of the things she mentioned is that's how sometimes um, ink ends up getting in other places because of the swiping. Oh, those two are close together, but that's okay. Let me get up here. I'm not opposed to it being too close together. I wanted it a lot, you know, spaced out a lot more, but that's okay. Um, I hope I'm not going under the stencil. I kind of feel like I am. I'm kind of nervous that when I pull it up, I'm going to see. But you know what? It's my first time trying this. So... You know, I'm not going to, oh, those are too close together, but that's all right. I know I keep saying that. <laughs> I think I say that a lot to like, so I won't spaz, you know, over it. Because I noticed I say that a lot. One day I was like, why I'm always saying, but that's all right. <laughs> okay. All right. So let's see. So I, now I think I need to try a different color. Um, I got to remember it's not the whole thing. And I think I keep thinking about all of this. So, so I'm, that's Poppy. So the next one I'm going to use is this. It's called Prickly Pear. I'm going to use a Prickly Pear color. So that's this color right here. Right? Hold on. Oh, come on, plastic. You want to stay on there? 
Okay. Okay. So that's prickly pear. This is like a yellowish green. It's pretty. And so I'm going to take the blending tool. I'm not going to use this side. I'm going to use the other side. And at some point, I'm going to put some labels on it. Okay. So I'm going to go up here. So I'm just actually stamping inside of the pad and um, smushing down. So, you know, somebody could fast forward this if they don't want to. I just want to show the whole process. Okay. okay. And then after I show this technique... When I lift it up, then I think for the rest of the journal page, that's when I'll probably just um, put some music on for the rest of the video. But um, this whole thing right here, I do want to show. Let me hear. here. I think I'll be okay with the three colors from what I'm seeing. It'll be all right. I was thinking maybe I will have to bring in another color, but I don't think I will have to. Um, This right here, I'll leave this right here. I'll leave that for the blue. And I'll do this little piece down here. See? Poking out. Okay. All right, so now, all right, so I need to make sure I label that. I need to find, I don't think I need to wash these out, no, because I'm just going to use them for the same thing. So now I'm going to use the color that they have called Bluebird. I need to be careful, almost, that was too close just now with that exacto knife. It wasn't on camera, but I didn't like the way that it was too close. It don't feel right. <laughs> so I'm going to use another blending tool. And this is the Bluebird. And so here it is right here. So I'm going to stamp. And now all the rest of the boxes I'm going to fill in with this color. Ooh, this blue. Oh, I love this blue. Oh, this is my favorite color right here. This Bluebird right here. I'm going to use green right there. I'm loving this bluebird. Bluebird, bluebird, to my window. This is pretty. Oh, my God. This blue is gorgeous. Yep. So far, this is my favorite color. I like the arm. I like all of them. They're actually all nice. But this blue is just dreamy. Blue. Okay, that one is going to be close to each other, but that's okay. All right. Should I make that? I think I'm going to put prick. Oh, that's what happened. See, I caught that. I didn't put any prickly pear over there. That's what it is. Okay, so you know what? What I'm going to do so I won't forget. Because I have like this strange feeling like I'm going to forget. So you know what? I'm just going to go ahead now and do it. Because I do not want to pull that up and then I totally forget. You know, I could have counted it and then just make sure it was one. But I don't I want to do all of that. I started to, as you can see at the beginning of the video, but then I changed my mind. Like, you know what? I'm not trying to do all of that. 
So let me put some glue in here. Okay, and I think I'm gonna put some green up here too. Yeah, I'll do that too. And then now I'm gonna go back to the blue, trying to make sure I don't put them all together. I mean, like mix it up, mix up the um. What is this? Is the mask? Is this the mask? I think it is, but you know what? Just in case, I'm going to just go right here. I think that's the mask. I don't think that was actually any of the... I have some spaces. I don't think that was any space. Okay. All right. I'm excited to pull up the, sten the, um, the stencil. This is the stencil. The other one was the mask that I used to draw the heart. Okay. Okay. Get some blue here. Put some blue here. I wonder what it's going to look like. You know how they say the big reveal? <laughs> Okay, so I just want to make sure I got all the spots because I don't want to lift this up and have to put it back down. Okay, so I think I have everything. So let me close up the ink pads. So I can honestly say right now that I like these blending tools. I could see how I can get into the little parts, the little details, and not have to worry about um, a mess. Oh, because if I was using a makeup sponge, it would not have been that simple. It would have been much more difficult trying a technique like this with a makeup sponge. So, time for the big reveal. I'm going to go ahead and gently pull up this. I do not want to tear my Bible page. Because that will not be good. And then take this off as well. my time okay and let me move this stint. nice really nice loving it okay so let me move this okay remove this oh suck it now let's see. remove this Remove this. I'm trying to take my time because you know that's a, that rushing is not gonna. Make, I should have I should have put some heat on it, but I don't want to put no heat on it with the stencil on it anyway. Maybe once I pull up the the the, the this outline, um, then I probably would. Cause this is like a stencil piece too. This right here is just wide, a lot of space. All right, and now let me move this. Okay. And move this. Take your time. Take your time. Take your time. Okay, good. Boom. Nice. I like it. All righty. Okay. I really, 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 really like that. I really do. And so, what I want to do now is I want to make sure that this ink on this stencil is not going to rub off. I'm going to put this back down only because I want to use it to go around and with a black pen. And, um, for the, to outline, the, to outline the heart I really want to do that I don't want to I think I will it will be better if I use this um but I have to make sure that I position it correctly so all right so um you know what I should I don't know why I bought that up I wasn't thinking okay that's all right. I have more here. So 
um, let me just get this positioned properly. Okay, so that's that right there. And then here, it looks like it's further out. Why does it look like that? Maybe did I move this? I probably moved it some when I was, um, you know, I don't like that. Okay, so where is that? Um, I have these pit pins. Should I use it? I think I'm going to use, let me see this right here. Sorry about that. I have some pit pins, Faber Castell. So, oh, God, why do, see, this is the part that I don't like. Okay, because I'm feeling kind of nervous. So, I just don't want it to be messy, you know. So, I am being kind of anal right now, I admit. Yes, I am being anal right now. Sometimes I am, sometimes I'm not, but right now I am. So, I'm going to make sure I take my time. Okay, I know what I'm gonna have to do. I'm gonna have to. Okay, let me move this, move this up some. I'm gonna have to thicken this. You know what? I realize I'm gonna be better off following the line because this right here, that's that's making it worse. That's making it harder for me because now my line is thicker, and it's okay. I'll just have to thicken it. Which I kind of wanted it thick anyway. And it, oh, this pen is nice. This is a Faber Castell pen. So it's a little thicker, but it's okay. I can deal with that. So I know for the future that I do not, I'm not going to trouble myself with putting that down to follow the line because that actually made it kind of harder and the bottom line is with this right here it's just you got to take your time and so i don't think you need to watch me do this i'm going to because i think even being mindful that i'm on camera may may make me want to rush and then i mess it up so let me pause this and then come right back okay i'm back so what I noticed is was right here. I don't know if it's because the stencil part was covering. I don't know why, but it looks like there's a lot of space here. But that's okay. Um, like I said, this is the first time that I'm doing this technique using the detail blending tools, and um, you know, and I'm using like a mask and also stencil. So, um, learning. So what I decided I'm gonna do is I have these words. Um, and, um, so I'm focusing on first Corinthians 13, a love never ends. I thought to put some words that is connected with love. I'm going to write something at the bottom to the Lord, write a prayer, but I want to put some words all over that is connected with what I think love. So I am, of course, it's not going to be exhaustive, but in that category. So the first one I want to put is sentimental. Then I'm going to put thoughtful. And kind. Embrace. Comfort, all these words I'm putting. I have these words, I might as well use them. Um, understanding, who doesn't want to be understood? Um, and like I said, because I, I don't have a lot of words here, but I want to put um, cherish. Um, and 
Okay. I just want to put words that's connect. Not a lot. Not every word, but just some. Family, friends, um, peace, I can think of love, peace, um, and I'm going to put this word to the side because I'm going to use it because I was in perfection because when I was thinking about love never ends I was it made me think of God's um unconditional love and so despite my flaws despite our flaws forever always um when it comes to God love is forever always Okay, so of course, like I said, it's not exhaustive. There's so many words we could put here. So many, 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 many words um, that's connected with love. I'm going to put treasure, the last word, treasure. Okay, and um, let me put, I think I want to use it. So now... Love never ends. I was going to use some stickers, but I think I'm going to use my own handwriting right now. Um, You know what? No, no, no. I have something. I think I want to use. Oh, does it? Yeah, I'm going to use this. I, I have this right here. So I'm going to use right here. I'm going to use this sticker for love. Because you know what? It goes nice with this color here. What happened here? What in the world? So how do the L go? Oh, okay. So it's one of those fancy ones. Okay, so. Yeah. So L. Oh, okay. It's, you pull it apart. It's, you can pull it apart. O, V. That's nice. Love. Love, it says love never fails. Love, never fails. Should I, let me see. Do I have that anywhere? I think I'm just going to write that. How should I do it though? I'm just going to put love never fails. Love. I like this pet pet. This what? Oh, love never fails. It could look at different. I don't have to. Love never fails, and I'm gonna put always. Okay, no, I don't like that. Love all. Okay, we could put forever. I think I'm gonna put forever right here. Yeah. All right. Um, love never fails. Hi, honey. I'm. Hold on one second. Okay. So I decided to put always here. So I'm gonna use this word in my journal, the, my prayer journal. So I'm gonna put. I should write, you know what I'm gonna I think I'm gonna use my extra small one to write with this one right here. Let me see. I think so. Yeah. Yeah. Dear Father God. Thanks for loving me 
unconditionally your love never fails I have I'm going to put imperfections still it doesn't deter you from loving me. What I'm looking for. I wish they had the word perfect here. They might. One second. One minute. Oh, you know what? Hold on. Hold on one second. So I decided to take the imperfection on the white one and cut cut it off the M and put perfection. Okay, so I cut off the M and then use it. That is still, it doesn't deter you from loving me. Your love is pure perfection. Move this up some. Okay. I pray to continually grow in your love and to love others. Despite their fault, we all need your love. Thanks again. In Jesus' name. I ask. Hold on one second. I think I have an amen sticker. Hold on. I sure do. I found it. I think it was the last one. Amen. And it has that green in it too. So, so there I go. And I think what I want to do is... I have these from Illustrated Faith. These, um, like little book tags. So I'm seeing if one has, like, love on it. So that one, that, that one, this one says grow, grow, grow. Um, I want to look for one that has love on it. So this one, it has some blank ones. Oh, you see this? Okay, wait a minute. I think this will be perfect because it has like this right here has some heart and says love you are love or something like that. Oh, this one even has love on it too. So let me just look at these right here. So this one right here, I would prefer this green, even though this is nice too. So let's see. Love. I think this this is it. Some of them are, all of them are so nice. Even this one. But I think this one is because of the blue and the green. So I am doing being kind of matchy here. So 
I'm going to mark this page right here. And there's some ghosting, but that's okay because I got something for that. I already know. I already, I have something for that. I have something for that. Okay. So should I put that on here? Because if I don't, if I put it here, oh man, what should I do? 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 Um, you know what? I'm going to put it here. I'm going to put it here because I believe this, this page. Yeah, I'm just going to put that here. I'm going to put it here, right here. Love. Yeah. I'll put it right here because when I turn, I'll turn to this. Right. Good. So. That's it. So I think I'll need to date this. I don't usually put too many dates, but I'm going to put it right here. S W J. Today is four. Four. Um, 10. 18. Today's my daughter's birthday. She's so she's 31 years old. And here's her pretty picture right here. <laughs> She's turned 31 today. And so, yeah. So, um, so that's it for this video. Um, I want to say thanks for watching. God bless you. And remember, Jesus loves you. Bye-bye.